talk to you about in this category, our universe, about an interesting topic in our universe that I found. Five reasons we may live in a multiverse. In other words, in multiple universe. I'm gonna show you some pictures that are fabulous according to space.com, uh, which was so interesting because the universe we live in may not be the only, the only one out there. So there may be other universes, you know? And this is what they're finding out more and more, you know? That uh, we may be actually, this may be a universe, one of them, where our world is, but there may be another universe just like ours, where another world may be. And they may be kind of interconnected as well. Okay, there are five reasons why we, or you know, they have explored and they have thought that maybe, you know, there could be, uh, you know, uh, um, we may live in a multi-universe. Um, number one, infinite universes. This is what they're finding out. Scientists can be sure what the shapes of space-time is, but most likely it's flat, okay? It's composed, uh, but in space, you know, uh, they have found very interesting uh, things uh, that uh, actually some point that we may have multiple universes because there are um, infinite numbers of ways uh, particles can be arranged in space and time. So that's why, you know, they're thinking that we could be doing, you know, that we could have multiple universes all kind of together. And I'm going to share some of these photos, which are very interesting, very, very interesting. Um, see how you can see, um, look, this is what you, see, this is one universe, and then this is, and you can see the world there. And then you can see another universe, and you can see the, another world. So this is how they feel that we're sort of connected, see? That we're sort of connected, but we don't know. You know, we, we just have to, they have to continue to be exploring those things. Um, I'm going to share some other, uh, some other photos with you in a minute. Um, but, you know, I was very... Um, you know, interested to find out more about it because I thought it was fascinating. And I'm sure you find it fascinating too. Because this is what they say, that um, the universe extends only as far as light has had a chance to get in 13.7 million, billion, I'm sorry, 13.7 billion years since the Big Bang. Okay. That's a lot. Can you believe that? The space-time beyond that distance can be considered to be its own separate universe. Okay, in this way, multi multitudes of universes exist next to each other in giant patchworks, um, you know, quilts of universes. And I'm going to show you what it looks like quilts like they're, they're talking about here, you know, um, um, this is what they look like. See, this is what they look like. See, they could look like that. It's like they could be like patchwork. It's like a quilt. As you can see, it's like a little quilt of universes. Isn't that incredible? So, hey, we could be right here or we could be right there. Who knows? You know, if we, where exactly here we are, and who knows if one of these universes could be heaven? Who knows? We don't know. We're, we'll be finding out more and more. I tell you, you know, we'll be finding out more and more. Another thing is bubble universes. This is really nice, and I want to show you the picture because it was so amazing. I'm going to show you the picture so that I can share with you this other picture because I'm going to scroll. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck. Anyway, let me go back uh, to my... 
but there's uh, like little bubbles that they look like universes. In addition to the multiple universes created by, inf uh, you know, an infinite uh, in space and time, other universes could arise from a theory called eternal inflation. Eternal inflation. Inflation is the notion that the universe expanded rapidly after the Big Bang. Okay, in effect, inflating like a balloon, like a balloon. Okay, and I'm gonna see if I can get, I can get to that for you, but um, so that let me let me show you. This is really beautiful. I want to show it to you. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? This is gorgeous. So that's the way they, they could look, like inflatable, you know, balloons, okay? Uh, this is what they found uh, the, uh, in the Tufts University cosmologist. They found that they suggest that some pockets of space stop inflating while others regions continue to inflate, thus giving rise to many isolated bubble universes. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's a beautiful picture in space.com, okay? But anyway, I wanted to share that with you, and of course, behind me, you can see the universe. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, another thing could be uh, parallel universes. Parallel universes. Um, the reason they say that is because, and I, we had talked about that in another um, of our topics of our universe because we have may have parallel universes where we may be doing this right here in another universe the same thing is happening another idea that rises that um, parallel universe that that ho hover okay hover just out of reach of our own okay out of reach of our own okay this is what Paul uh, Steinhardt and Neil Turok, Turok, okay, of the Premier Institute of uh, Theory Physics in Ontario, Canada. This is kind of complicated. <laughs> the idea comes from the possibility of many more dimensions to our world, many more dimensions to our world than the three of space and one of time that we know. Okay, I have heard so many people, and I, I have not really explored this, but I have always been intrigued by it because they say when you die you go to another dimension and I've heard that word constantly on some people that believe beyond this world that of course you know when we die we go to another dimension is this is what um, maybe what they're talking about para parallel universe universe uh, universes where um, you know you go into another dimension in another universe Somehow. Okay. This is another thing that they're, you know, they're concerned is number, number five. Number four is daughter universes. Daughter universes. The theory of quantum mechanics. Okay. People that understand all this. Which reigns over the tiny world of particles. Okay. Subatomic particles. Suggests another way multiple universes might arise. Okay, quantum mechanics describes the world in terms of probabilities rather than definite outcomes, okay? And the mathematics of this theory might suggest that all possible outcomes of a situation do occur in their own separate universe. It's so complicated, right? I mean, you, you listen to this and you go, oh my gosh, what does that mean? Also, mathematical universes. That's another theory, another reason that we could have multiple universes in our, in our um, universe. Scientists have debated whether mathematics is simply okay, a useful tool for describing the universe or whether math itself is the fundamental reality and our observations of the universe are just imperfect perspectives. Uh, perceptions of its true mathematical nature. You know, uh, this is something that 
you know, Einstein was a genius in mathematics. But, you know, most people don't understand true mathematics, you know. I don't understand it. When you all see all these things, you know, how Einstein used to write those little numbers and all this, whatever, you don't even understand it, you know. I mean, I understand one, two, three, four, five, the numbers, you know. I was never good at math anyway. But when you see that mathematical genius of what does that mean, you know, it could be that all this intelligence came from all these other universes into this world. And those geniuses like Einstein come from other universes. They're born into this universe so they can teach us about quantum physics, about other things that we don't understand, you know. Could be that, mathem that, that now a mathematical structure is something that you can describe in a way that completely independently, you know, independent of human baggage. Okay, this is what Max Tegmark of MIT said. So he proposed, you know, that mathematicals, you know, the mathematic, um, would continue to exist even if there were no humans. Even if there were no humans, it would, con it would co continue to exist. Can you believe that? Now that's, that's something. That is something. This is so intriguing because, you know, our universe is so complex. And I really believe that the more and more people research it, the more and more they're going to find that there could be even life out there. Eventually we'll get there. We're still way behind, but, you know, thanks to quantum physics, to mathematics, to astronomers, and so many other people that study space, like what I found in space.com, are finding more and more new discoveries. So it's so interesting to know that uh, we're learning more about our universe and I hope you enjoyed this um, topic on our universe and those beautiful pictures, okay? Um, just remember to always look us up, okay, in Money and Business, in our category Money and Business, True Success, um, you know, Health and Wellness, uh, World News, and, of course, our universe. Um, you got to uh, know that all of us are working hard to, to bring good topics for you and all of our... Uh, the people that work for Believe are, you know, really work hard to, to make this for you. Um, and definitely your suggestions, your comments are always welcome. We definitely want your comments. Okay. Um, just remember to find us in Believe.love, iTunes, BelieveITunes.com, so you can listen to us on iTunes. And Android users, you can always find us in BelieveAndroid.com. And YouTube, Believe loves you. Until next time.